During my stay at uh, the Leah Palace Hotel in New Delhi, I, I wanted to try their afternoon tea. This hotel is a very old fashioned hotel, uh, so I was really looking forward to trying their afternoon tea. Now you've got two choices, you've got afternoon high tea, which is basically an English type uh, afternoon tea. So you've got your scones, your sandwiches, cookies, so on, pastries, as it says there. And then you have uh, the Indian high tea. Uh, which is a mixture of uh, Indian uh, sweets and savoury. So I'm going to try that one today and then later on in the week, uh, if I have time, well, no, I will make time to have some uh, continental high tea. This one is chocolate burfi, this one is raska dum, this one is chum chum and this one is saffron raskula. Okay. And we have samosas and pakoras over there and with some mint chutney and tamarind sauce and paneer kachi also. Great. Enjoy it. Thank you. So the young lady just brought over the tea and that tea smells absolutely delicious. So it's uh, Indian uh, chai. And we've got... Uh, all the savouries and the sauces there she just explained, bagore there and samosa and then we've got the sweets here and it looks absolutely delicious. We have these biscuits that I've had before which are really really nice. I'm going to tuck into this. I will start from the bottom to the top so I think this is chicken. It looks like chicken. Try it with a bit of sauce. I think this is mint sauce. Yes, chicken. That is lovely. Mm. Let's try out the other sauce. Oh yeah, that sauce is much better. That's like chutney. This is mint sauce. Let's try one of the pakore. So this is basically a fried cottage cheese, basically. Uh, the, they just make a, a big lump of cheese and then they fry it. So I'm going to start with the chutney sauce, which I think is a lot better. And there we have it. It's basically fried cheese. Now, they call it paneer. It's very, very popular here in India. Let's try it with this mint sauce. Not so much of a fan of the paneer. Now you must excuse the noise. They have music playing, live music playing, and you can see there. It's a bit distracting. That is really nice. Now, I'm not a big fan of um, masala uh, jai, but that's really nice. It, I'm, I'm not a big fan of um, a lot of milk in my tea. I prefer it have it just normal. But that's really nice. Uh, the masala chai is, uh, here in India is really, really nice. I haven't put any sugar in there. So let me finish off this. What next? Oh, that is a fried chili. I've got to try now. I've got to try that. Let's see how spicy it is. I'm going to try it without, actually, without any sauce. Let's see what it's like. Ooh, that is incredibly spicy, but really nice. Oh wow, that's really nice. Here's another pakora. It's a potato. Basically a fried potato. Or a potato wedgie, as you could probably call it. Alright, that's fried cauliflower. Let's try it with this sauce. Uh, let's try it with this sauce. With the chutney sauce first. Well that's actually quite spicy. Really really thick pastry. The inside is a bit too mushy I think though. But very spicy, that's nice. The, the pastry makes up for the mushy content. That's very nice. I don't know if they're both going to be the same because you can get them 
which are meat as well, but I think they just give you vegetarians here. So you get two samosas, two uh, paneer pakore, two potato pakore, and then two uh, cauliflower pakore. So far, I think this chicken wrap is probably been the best so far. What they call this is barfi, so I'm not quite sure what it's made of. We have different types. Ooh. Incredibly sweet. I think it's coconut. But you can have all different types of flavors. That's really nice. So here we have another one, which seems to be falling apart immediately. It's so soft. You can't get hold of it. Wow, again, very sweet. The outside is marzipan. And then the inside is what uh, they call a rascula. Um It's basically just a fried ball of flour and then dipped in sugar syrup until it all absorbs inside. You can, you can see it's awful, but that's really nice. And this is another one. You can see it's literally dripping with sugar. That you can look at. Absolutely full of sugar syrup. If you've got a sweet tooth, you would love this. And this one, it looks like there's some nuts, so you just be a bit careful <clears throat> when ordering some food. A lot of the food here in India has nuts in there. Again, full of sugar, you can just see as I'm squeezing it. It's very similar to this one, <coughs> which has got the nuts. But this one has got more of a creamy taste to it. That one's got more syrup inside. Out of the three, no, the four, I think I prefer this one. That's probably the one that which is, has got the least amount of sugar in there. It's, it's got, got coconut. But I'm going to finish off this. But if you're ever here, I must try this. I am going to have the uh, normal afternoon tea. Uh, later on in the week, I will make a video of that one or I'll tag it on to the end of this one So if you want to see that one stay tuned or the link in the description So I managed to finish everything uh, Which was a lot of calories I should imagine. So just before uh, I sign off Is um, I'm, I didn't tell you the price of what this cost. This is 1150 rupees uh, which is about 12 pounds, uh, 14, 15 US dollars, uh, which is actually not too bad. Uh, I've had uh, a lot worse uh, afternoon teas than this uh, at double the price, some even more than that. Um, I've spent 40 pounds on afternoon tea in England and it was absolutely terrible from Betty's, uh, which is really famous in England. But uh, I think definitely if you're here, try the afternoon tea. Uh, it's very, very filling. Uh, it's now uh, 20 to 6 and um, that's really filled me up um, so I'm gonna have to have a very late dinner I think but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video um, I'll put a link in the description for the next video